Nice day, sir. Nice day for the match. Mm -hmm. I moved that ladder away at last, I see. About time. Now, sir. What will you wear, I wonder? You put your cricketing flannels on straight away? All right. Oh, sir, in uh, Mr. Durham's absence, the servants feel we should be so honored if you would captain us for the match. I'm no cricketer, Simcox. Who's your best bat? None better than the under gamekeeper, sir. Scudder, sir. Well, then make Scudder captain. Pity, sir. Things always go better with a gentleman captain. Tell him to put me to field deep. And I won't bat first, bat eighth, if he likes. You might tell him, as I shan't be down till it's time. Very good, sir. Oh, dear, sir. Mud on the carpet. I'll send someone up. Very good, sir. The captain's put himself into bat first. Clive Durham would never have done that. Little points interest me. <laughs> He's our best man, apparently. I've an instinct the man's conceited. <laughs> He's lost very well. He's playing more carefully this year. Right! Run hard, oh, Roger! Ball is in! They're going to! Harden! Harden! I do begin to see what you mean. Well, with a haircut. Scudder's holding the fort for you. He's doing rather well. Well, I suppose I'd better play for a bit. Please these people. <laughs> Hello, Val. Simon. Andrew, Andrew. down the point. I'll just go down to uh, mid off, please. Clive. Right. Aren't you exhausted? Well, I've had meetings till midnight. I've got another this afternoon. But I'm back tonight, and then your visit really does begin. Now, gentlemen. We stand rebuked to the Olympic Games, Morris.
Yes? Take him, Simon! Wait. No, wait. Sorry, Morris. Sorry. Get it in, Andy. Take off. Yeah. Sorry. Well played, Mr. Thorpe. <laughs> I know, sir. That's right. I know, sir. 